Aloha and welcome once again to another episode of the Hawaii Vacation Connection. My name is Bruce Fisher. Thanks very much for tuning in. Got a great podcast for you for this Friday, December 17th, 2010. This is our 428th podcast. And every Friday we do shout outs and we talk about questions that podcast listeners have asked during the week. So if you have a question or comment or something you'd like us to talk about, get it to us and we'll talk about it here on Friday's show. This podcast is brought to you by us. We're the owners of Hawaii-Aloha.com. We're in Hawaii. We're Hawaii's experts. And you can catch us on the web at www.Hawaii-Aloha.com. Or you can just give us a call at one 800 Eight four three eight seven seven one. We're right here in Hawaii. That's all we do is plan Hawaii vacations. All of us are located right here in Hawaii, so that'll make the difference in planning a very memorable vacation for you because we know what's going on here, and we can give you good advice. So thanks very much for tuning in. Let's get right to it. We've got a lot of ground to cover. I actually have some news that I want to cover because I do apologize. Uh, last Tuesday we didn't have a show. It just, the whole day got away from us. We actually had a, uh, a site inspection that we did. I want to talk a little bit about that on the next show because we got a chance to take a look at the Outrigger Waikiki on the beach, which we haven't looked at since they've done a new soft renovation. So we're going to give you our thoughts about that next week. Uh, we also took a look at the reef and uh, just want to say a big mahalo and thank you to the folks over at Outrigger. You know, Outrigger was the number one selling hotel chain for us here at Hawaii Aloha Travel, so we're very proud of that. And they gave us a little celebration over at the Kanakapili Grill, which is a great place to hang out and just enjoy drinks. They have live music there, great Hawaiian music, so you want to check that out, the Outrigger Reef, and just a big mahalos to all the folks over at the Outrigger. They're just so supportive of us, and we're just real proud that they came out number one with us this year. So we're going to talk about that next week, uh, the Outrigger Properties and what's happening with them. But let's get into a little bit of the news. One of the first things I wanted to talk about is, speaking of hotel chains, I wanted to talk a little bit about Sheridan Hotels, which now Sheridan has decided that they're going to add um, resort fees to all of their properties on Oahu. And I think it's actually going to be all the islands, but we know definitely on Oahu. And I wanted to go over those fees for you because it looks like now there's going to be a $20.94 fee. I don't know how they came up with that. That must be some sort of weird number. Usually it's like an even number, right? But they've come up with a $20.94 service charge at the Sheridan Waikiki. <laughs> and then over at the Moana Surfrider, it's the exact same price for both the Moana Surfrider and the Sheridan Waikiki. I don't know, is the Royal Hawaiian in on that, yelling? Do you know? I don't know if the Royal Hawaiian is going to be doing it, but I'm assuming they are. But uh, yes. We're, yes, I've been told. So yes, the Sheridan... Uh, Royal Hawaiian as well, the $20.94 fee. Now over at the PK, which is the Princess Kaiolani, that's an under Sheridan property, that is only going to be $12.57. Now, so I asked what's included with that? Nothing. <laughs> it's just, a, uh, they say that it does going to include, it is going to include self-parking, but you don't get anything extra for that fee. So Sheridan bumping up their resort fees. So keep that in mind when you're planning it out. And you know, it just makes you remember to check all of the fees that are associated. You know, a lot of times people compare our price with what they can find online, but then they discover, you know, the taxes aren't included, the fees aren't included. So whenever you're doing comparisons, you know, always check and make sure you check with our agents too to see if there are any extra fees that are involved because you know, there's parking that's involved, there's service fees, there's tax and all that fun stuff. And just to let you know, tax in Hawaii, what is it now? 14.5, 11.4%, right? 12% 12 now. It's, the taxes are always going up. So it's like 12% now for tax. And that's a lot of tax to have to pay on top of your hotel room. So keep that in mind. Another interesting news, and I don't know a whole lot about this, but I heard during the week that Continental Airlines says it's going to start flying nonstop service to Hilo. And it's gonna be from San Francisco to Hilo in June. What? Why are they doing that? I mean, I love that Hilo is gonna get more airlift, but I don't know what the uh, logic is there. Because I, I think most people are gonna stay in Kona and there's really not any great hotels in Hilo. Why are they doing that? But they're gonna be having daily nonstop flights from San Francisco to Hilo starting June 9th. 
and uh, we'll have to keep a close eye on that. I don't know how long that's going to last. Isn't that kind of crazy? But maybe there's something I don't know about that. People can stay in Hilo and then go to Kona. Yeah, I know that, but there's no really nice hotels in Hilo and accommodations in Hilo, so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Also, uh, just found out there's a new dinner show starting up in Waikiki, and this is going to take it back to the big band era, you know, the Hawaii USO days back in the 1940s, which I think is going to be kind of fun. It's called Pacific Swing, and if, it's going to uh, feature performances by local dancers and a live big band, and then they're going to invite everybody to like dance the night away to 40s music. And the creators of this just think that they're, you know, because of all the popularity of the dance shows now, you know, like Dancing with the Stars, and so you think you can dance, they think they're going to be, there's going to be more uh, interest in this kind of show. And headlining the show is going to be Nathan Osmond. Yes, the Osmond brothers, right? You remember, they are, he is part of that musical family. He's the son of Alan Osmond, and he's the nephew to Donnie. And he looks just like him. I wish I had a picture to show you. I was going to put that up there. But this, 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 this Nathan Osmond looks just like the rest of the Osmonds. So there's no doubt about it. This guy is an Osmond. So interesting. They're going to bring back another show. And, you know, we love the right return to Waikiki, which is no longer in Waikiki. And that was taking us back to that day, too. So I think it's going to be a fun show. So check with us on that, and we can get you into this new show, Pacific Swing Hawaii. Just want to get you up to date with a couple of things we've been doing, and I want to make a couple of restaurant suggestions. If you're coming to Oahu, I found, people have been telling me about this place, but I haven't gone to it. I found the best pizza place in all of Hawaii. It's called V Lounge. V is in Victor Lounge. It's over near the Ala Moana Shopping Center, and I, I just can't believe how great this pizza is. It is probably the best pizza I've ever eaten in, in Hawaii. You know, it's that Ka'ave brick oven type pizza and they have their own they use all local homegrown ingredients there and it's the guy that opened the place is the former pastry chef from Nobu I'm sure you've all heard of Nobu restaurant this is a famous restaurant all over the world but especially you know we have one here in Hawaii great Japanese food and he left there and opened up this V lounge and had a passion for pizza and all local ingredients. The dough is just like the best dough I have ever had in Hawaii. This is hands down the best pizza. Um, I, I'm a big fan for margarita, margarita pizza. You know, that's just like, you know, um, you know, marinara sauce, mozzarella cheese on a really nice thin crust. Am I making you hungry? I'm making myself hungry here. You know, I haven't eaten all day. And this was just, this is just a great, great pizza. Um, they have their signature pizza, which is called their Primo Pizza. Again, all local ingredients, like they have the, the sweet Maui onions, you know, that we grow here in Hawaii, and hamakua mushrooms, and there's an actual raw egg put on top of it. Oh my God, and truffle oil. This is a pizza to die for, literally. Your heart will get clogged. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Really a great pizza place. So you want to check that out. V Lounge. Um, just contact me or I'll be probably doing a blog about this very soon. Uh, so check that out, V Lounge, uh, for the best pizza in Hawaii. And the other thing I wanted to mention to you is, you know I've been talking a lot about the Edition Hotel, right? Well, last weekend we were treated to a mixology session. Yep, I didn't know you could do this there. But if you have a special event or you really want to do something very different, do this mixology session because what they do is they bring out some of their most signature drinks and they actually prepare them for you in front of you and they show you how they make it. They bring in the mixologist, that's fancy for bartender, but these guys are really mixologists because these these are drinks like you've never seen before, these signature drinks like their uh, deconstructed Mai Tai. And they did this thing where, you know, they have this uh, vanilla scent or taste that's in the glass and they show us how they take a vanilla bean, flatten it, and then burn it with a torch. It's incredible. I have a video up on our website, so check that out. And if you have a chance to do the mixology session at the addition, this is a fun thing for you guys to do if you're coming to Oahu. And contact me, I can hook you up with that. So I just wanted to mention those two things that really stood out in the past couple of weeks. Because we've been really eating like crazy. I mean, really, really bad. I mean, it's just been really like off the diet, everything. I mean, it's pretty, pretty disgusting, all the food I've been eating lately. Um, I, I think I'm almost a foodie. I'm getting to the point where I'm going to be a foodie. 
So uh, be looking for more food foodie suggestions for me as we get into the holidays. And have, do you feel the holidays? Now, most of you are sitting out in the snow and the cold weather. This is what we're looking at here. Here's the crater cam. It's a beautiful day in Hawaii. It's a little hazy because we have some Kona winds coming in. And what that means is the Kona winds, we have the winds coming a little bit from the south, but there's hardly any winds. That's the point I'm trying to make here. It's, it's blue skies, but it kind of looks a little hazy out there. And that's a view of uh, Diamond Head Crater from our offices here on the east side of the island. So you can see it's just been beautiful weather though. Hold on. And uh, so if you're coming here in the next couple of days, you can expect some really gorgeous weather. I had to turn my phone off there <laughs> for a second. So hopefully that helps you out. And you know, a lot of people now, I think, and I don't know, are people really watching Hawaii Five O? I mean, we know that it's the number one series, but is that why we're we are seeing a huge increase in business and a lot of attention in Hawaii? Now we have this commercial, right? Hawaii Five O is being shown to the world, and it is just as beautiful as it is in Hawaii Five O. And so, hopefully, you'll be getting to Hawaii soon, and we're going to be helping you do that. Um, just want to mention that you know I, I I see this trend in Hawaii that a lot of the parks, you know, one of the great things about Hawaii is that things are free, and I. And I'm just starting to notice that we're starting to see parks uh, charge fees, more and more fees. And there's another park that's starting a fee for visitors, and that's over on the Big Island at Akaka Falls. Can you believe that? They're going to just charge a $5 fee now, there for non-residents. Usually residents don't have to pay these little fees, but I don't like that they're doing that. And they're saying that the Division of uh, Parks and Recreation is going to start charging more fees, so we, we need to start getting used to it. And they say they're doing this to um, increase revenues because they've had to do a lot of uh, work in these parks to refurbish them, which I understand. But I just think that's one of the great things about Hawaii is that people come here. They spend a lot of money to get here, but we have so many things, fun things to do that are free, which we love to tell you about. So keep an eye on that and check with your agent and check with us. Make sure there's no fees that surprise you when you get to one of these, one of these places. Now... Speaking of the Big Island, our first shout out today is to uh, a woman by the name of Jesse, who wrote to us on Facebook and said that he loves the po she loves the podcast and she's going to the Big Island and she's looking for ideas and suggestions on what to do on the Big Island. So speaking of the Big Island, we have a lot of suggestions and a lot of fun things to do that we can recommend to you. And one of the ways to do it is to get over to our blog. We have a blogger on the Big Island. And she's a resident there. And all of our bloggers are bloggers with us because they have a unique understanding about Hawaii because most of them are new residents of Hawaii. So if we sought out bloggers who have been here maybe one or two years who still have that fresh enthusiasm about Hawaii but can offer firsthand experiences for you to enjoy. And one of the things that we recommend is when you get over to the Big Island, there's a lot of farmer's markets and they have these special breakfasts at the farmer's market. And you can do that when you go to the Big Island. Get up, go to the farmer's market, have your breakfast there. These are just some little suggestions. Simple pleasures. Things like taking a walk in Hilo Bay if you're on the Hilo side. And you can take a walk around. You can uh, go to Liliokalani Park. And that's one of my favorite places in over there on the Big Island. It's just to walk around there. It's a 30-acre park. And it's uh, created in the honor of Japanese immigrants who worked on the Big Island in the sugar plantations and that's why, and it's also named after Queen Liliuokalani. And Queen Liliuokalani, if you don't know the story, you should find out about it. Rich history, that was the last uh, monarch, uh, reigning monarch in Hawaii was Queen Liliuokalani. And uh, that was in the early 1900s. And each uh, September, they have a uh, festival there for her. And it's held in the gardens to uh, celebrate her birth. So that's a good time to go there. Also, what about stargazing? People forget we have great stargazing in Hawaii. And one of the great places you can do it is over at Mauna Kea. You can see, uh, you can go up 9,000 feet and you can see some of the most amazing stars and galaxies. It's an incredible sight, millions and billions of them. And uh, I highly recommend doing stargazing. Um, another thing is the Hawaii Donkey Trail which is the uh, Onomea Bay uh, Donkey Trail. That's on the east side of the Big Island. It's a budget-friendly way to enjoy 
all the incredible beauty of Hawaii. It's a great way to do it. There's the Hamakua Coast. There's so many places, and you can find all of these on our blog. So hopefully, Jesse, I can't go through all of them. I, I was going to talk about a lot of them here, but I see I'm, I'm getting long-winded today, and I'm running out of time, and I want to get all of our shout-outs done. Another shout-out that I want to do is to Daniel. Daniel McClan, who um, heard about our VIP North Tour Adventure Tour and how many people are having so much fun on that. And uh, also another recommendation is the rainforest and the zoo is free, by the way, here in Hawaii. They still are charging for that. Uh, Tara had that suggestion. But going back to this, I want to shout out to Daniel McCann. He um, is going to go on our VIP uh, North Shore VIP tour and people are having so, so much fun on that. We want to be, give a big shout out to Daniel. Him and a couple of his friends are going to go with our own Hilton Blackwell on that tour and people are having just an, the, the, the feedback we're getting on this is incredible so if you want to have a plan a great day that's unique contact us we're going to put you together with Hilton and put you on our own this is our own made tour just for our clients and it's a really special day that you'll have up on the North Shore uh, it's usually an eight hour tour but sometimes we go longer and we'll tell you all about that if you give us a call want to do another shout out to Carol Gilmer Carol is one of our Facebook friends, and she just recently booked a trip with us. Uh, Nancy is her agent, and I want to thank you, Carol, for finally doing it. You know, she wrote me the other day on Facebook and said, Bruce, guess what I got for Christmas? And immediately I knew what she got. Her husband decided to give her a trip to Hawaii. And you know what? We're getting a lot of folks calling in giving uh, trips to Hawaii for vacation. And I was just talking to somebody the other day, one of our customers, who's planning a reunion here in Hawaii with somebody that lives in Hawaii for 20 years and she hasn't seen this person in over 20 years and she's coming here doing a reunion doing a big surprise so that's going to be so cool and uh, those are the fun things you can plan really unique fun things for people to do when they're coming to Hawaii so that's going to wrap it up let me just go over a couple of packages real quick that have been booked in the last 24 hours in fact, um, let's do one here for two people coming in June 22nd to the 30th. They're coming from Memphis, Tennessee, going to here, coming to here to Honolulu on the island of Oahu, staying in the Waikiki Beach Marriott. Lay greeting, transfer, upgrade, total package, 2779. Congratulations to Beatrice and Lily Butcher. They're gonna have a fantastic time in Hawaii and to Agent Ashley. For putting that trip together. That's going to wrap it up. We're going to do this again for you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Get into the holiday spirit. We'll see you on Tuesday. Until then, for my beautiful wife, LA, and all of us here at Hawaii Aloha Travel, say aloha and mahalo.